This year's spring budget will take place on Wednesday the 6th of March and the stakes are high. It could be the government's last chance to sway voters before a general election, which has fueled the prospect of tax giveaways. But Jeremy Hunt's headroom appears limited. So what might we expect? Let's round up the rumour mill. First, personal taxes. Tight fiscal forecasts mean the Chancellor may cut employees' national insurance instead of income tax, with the main rates reducing from 10% to 9% reportedly being considered. Now, scrapping inheritance tax would certainly find favour at the polls, but this seems more aspirational than realistic. However, as Hunt recently described the tax as pernicious, he may choose to chop the 40% headline rate or shake up the tax-free allowances. Next up, savings and investments. There are reports the government may act stamp duty on UK shares. Elsewhere, a great British ISA which would give savers an extra 5K to invest in UK listed companies, didn't materialise at last year's autumn statement, but is apparently still on the table. And the lifetime ISA's early withdrawal penalty could be cut from 25% to 20%, while the maximum home value may tick up from its current 450K cap. And last, child benefit. At present, if either parent earns above 50K, they face a 1% charge on payments, creating a potential 71% tax trap. Given Hunt concedes the current system is unfair, reform here is a possibility. Also look out for changes to non-DOM tax rules and support for first-time buyers. This is purely speculation and Hunt could squeeze in another budget before an election. Keep up to date at ii.co.uk.